In today's class, we shall introduce the phenomena of polarization of the electromagnetic waves. Now, uh, the phenomena of uh, interference and diffraction showed that light is a wave. Now, this phenomena of uh, polarization of light showed that the light is a transverse wave. Now, in this class, we shall talk about the phenomena of polarization. What are polarized light? What are unpolarized light? Also, we shall talk about the types of polarization. Now, light wave are the electromagnetic waves and we know that in an electromagnetic wave there are oscillating electric field and also oscillating magnetic field. If a light is in a non-conducting dielectric medium then the electric vector is perpendicular to the magnetic vector and also the electric and the magnetic vector are perpendicular to the direction of propagation. In general, the electric vector oscillates in a plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation and also in a plane perpendicular to the vibration of the magnetic field. This phenomena is called the transverse nature of light. Now, uh, in general, the light from the source like uh, sunlight, like uh, uh, incandescent bulb, like from a candle, the electric field vibrates and also the magnetic field vibrates very fast and in a random direction. Also, since light is an electromagnetic wave which is consisting of the electric field and the magnetic field. So, for specifying the light vector, we may use uh, magnetic or the electric field. Traditionally, the electric field is used for the light vector. So, for an unpolarized light, the electric field oscillates randomly and very, very fast. And so it's uh, and that in a direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Now, that is the reason why we can say that the electric field vibrates in more than one plane, the plane being perpendicular to the direction of propagation. And this is what is unpolarized light is. Now, let us first try to find out or see how the electromagnetic wave is constituted with the electric field and the magnetic field. Here, this is the x-axis which is the direction of the propagation of the wave. Now, this is the y-axis and this is the direction of the electric field E and z-axis is the direction of the electric magnetic field B. Now here this is the direction of the electric field E along the y axis and this is the direction of the magnetic field B along the z axis. Now x axis is the direction of the propagation. Now, here you can see E is in 
एक्स वाई प्लेन एंड बी इज इन एक्सेड प्लेन एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ प्रोपोगेशन इज अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस now there are certain materials and if the light goes through those materials and those materials have certain structurally certain specific directions and if the electric factor is parallel to those specific directions then only the light or the electric vector passes through those materials and if the electric vector is perpendicular to those directions then the light is blocked and these materials are called polarizers also if electric field vector e makes certain angle with those uh, specific directions then the component of the electric field along those a uh, specific direction will will only pass through that material and the most interesting thing is that whatever we the direction of the electric field before entering the polarizer the electric field after going through the polarizer will have the direction parallel to those specific directions and again since the electric field in an unpolarized light oscillates in a very random manner and it oscillates at a very fast scale like for example in an incandescent light the electric field vector oscillates at a scale of about 10 to the power minus 14 seconds and that to randomly so in an unpolarized light it can be thought of as the light is vibrating in more than one plane for an unpolarized light the electric field vector oscillates or vibrates in more than one plane in a direction obviously perpendicular to the direction of propagation now the electric field vector oscillates in a very random manner and it can be shown like this so so the electric field vibrates in uh, there is no fixed plane it vibrates in numerous plane 
and the vibrations are random but it vibrates in a plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation and so this is unpolarized light. Now the process of transforming the unpolarized light into polarized light is called polarization. Now we have to understand why the ordinary light is unpolarized. Now we know that light is emitted by atoms and any source contains many uh, atomic emitters and they emit uh, light waves which are called wave packets in a direction, in a plane, uh, which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation, which lasts about 10 to the power minus 8 seconds. So, one atom uh, gives one wave packet at an instant which lasts for 10 to the power minus 8 seconds. Some other atoms give another wave packets which again lasts for about 10 to the power minus 8 seconds. So, uh, if the source contains numerous such type of atoms, so individual wave packets may be polarized but there is no connection between the wave packets given by different atomic emitters. As such, the vibrations are random and there is no fixed plane of vibration. So, the vibrations are random. The only thing is that they vibrate in a, a plane uh, which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation and as such, the whole thing that is whole Vibrations are very random and these vibrations are very fast and that is why the light from an ordinary source is unpolarized. So it can be shown, here we have shown it already like this. So this is how we show unpolarized light. And this gives uh, the fact that the in an unpolarized light, the electric field vector can vibrate randomly in any plane. As such, there is no preferred direction. And this shows that the vibrations can be in a plane which can vary from 0 to 360 degree. Now that is how we uh, represent an unpolarized light and for polarized light we represent like this.
this is unpolarized light and this is polarized light there is a polarizer and suppose this is an uh, polarized light so this is a polarized light in a direction parallel to the plane of this board in a plane parallel to this board and these are polarized light perpendicular to this board now then what are polarized light the polarized light are those light which vibrate in a fixed plane the light which vibrates in a fixed plane is called polarized light if the electric field vector vibrates in a fixed plane then the light is called polarized light so in a polarized light the electric field vector does not change the plane of vibration or the form now we can demonstrate this uh, polarization by uh, some mechanical form so mechanical demonstration of the this uh, phenomena of uh, polarization so let us do it
So suppose we have a, a string which has a transverse wave and the string is fixed at this end B and there are two uh, slits N1 and N2 and the slits are slightly uh, bigger than this size of the, the, the uh, string. And now if the string A is uh, made to uh, have oscillations in a transverse way but uh, in a very random manner then only the those waves will pass through which has a vibration in a direction which is parallel to this slit and so here if the random uh, oscillations are given only those waves which are uh, parallel to this slit will pass through them and again n2 is another uh, slit here also here we can see the before a n1 the vibrations or oscillations are random and after this n1 to n2 the oscillations are in a direction parallel to this slit and if this is parallel to the slits then again this uh, string or the wave will oscillate beyond this n2 and here again if random oscillations are given then the uh, vibrations which are parallel to this slit will pass through and if now this uh, uh, slit is perpendicular to this uh, vibrations then these vibrations will not pass through and they will not go beyond B. So there will be no vibrations beyond N2. There will be no vibrations beyond N2. So this is how we can mechanically demonstrate the polarization. And this slit N1 is called the polarizer and this N2 is called the analyzer. So uh, next we shall move on to the types of polarization. Now the types of polarization. The polarization of a light wave is uh, given by the shape and the locus of the electric uh, tip of the electric field vector E uh, at a plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation at a point in space as a function of time. The polarization of a light wave is described by the shape and the locus of the tip of the electric field vector E in a plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation at a point 
in space as a function of time. In other words, we can say how the electric field vector is uh, having the locus as a function of time at a certain point for the polarized light wave, we can have types of polarization. Accordingly, there are three types of polarization. Number one is uh, plane polarized light number two circularly polarized light and number three is elliptically polarized light. Now before going to detail about this plane polarized, circularly polarized and elliptically polarized light, we shall define two things. The plane of vibration and the plane of polarization. Let us do it. plane of vibration. The plane containing the direction of the vibration of electric field vector E and the direction of propagation is called the plane of vibration. So the plane of vibration contains electric field vector E and the propagation vector K. Now, the plane of polarization. The plane going through the direction of propagation which does not contain any vibration is called plane of polarization. The plane of polarization is perpendicular to the plane of vibration.
Now we shall uh, see plane polarized light, circularly polarized light and elliptically polarized light. Plane polarized light. The unpolarized light, in an unpolarized light, the vibrations of the electric field E are random and are in any plane, the plane being perpendicular to the direction of the propagation. Now for plane polarized light, the direction of the vibration is in a fixed line in a specified plane. For a plane polarized light, the direction of vibration of the electric field vector E is in a fixed straight line in a specific plane. Now circularly polarized light. If two plane polarized light are superimposed under suitable condition, then the electric field vector E can be made to rotate and if the electric field vector E has a fixed magnitude then it appears to trace out a circle and this is called circularly polarized light. If two plane polarized light is superimposed under suitable conditions then the electric field vector is made to rotate in a plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation and if the magnitude of the electric field vector is constant then the tip of electric field vector appears to trace a 
circle and this is called circularly polarized light and uh, elliptically the third one being elliptically polarized light now if the two plane polarized light superimpose if the two plane polarized light superimpose so that the magnitude of electric field vector periodically changes from maximum to minimum then it appears to trace uh, an ellipse and is called elliptically polarized light Now we shall see some mathematical uh, formulation of this plane polarized, circularly polarized and elliptically polarized light in terms of the electric field vector. Now, in plane polarized light propagating along z direction, can be thought of as combination of two components of uh, plane polarized lights going along x direction and y direction but having same phase so we can write uh, e x as equal to E x naught e to the power minus i omega t minus k z it is propagating along z direction and k is the propagating magnitude of the propagating or propagation vector. So uh, if uh, i x cap uh, it is y cap and uh, x cap be the unit 
vectors along y direction and x direction respectively then this can be written as e x naught to the power minus i omega t minus k z x cap this is equation 1 and e y equal to e y naught to the power minus i omega t minus k z y cap this is equation 2 x naught and y naught are the maximum values of e x and e y and uh, omega is the angular frequency and it is going along z direction and both of them has the same phase so there is no phase difference here and also since uh, it is uh, going along the z direction so it is uh, it should be k dot z here but uh, since uh, k dot z is kz here since the direction are same so we have taken it as k z now uh, the solution of this can be written as E R T the electric field at some position R at time T is equal to E X plus E Y and this is equal to E X naught X cap plus E Y naught Y cap e to the power minus i omega t minus kz let this be equation 3 now for plain polarized light number 1 plain polarized light the phase will be uh, same and the magnitude will be given by the phase of both the components should be same And uh, the magnitude E is given by square root E x naught square plus E y naught square and the polarizing vector E makes an angle the theta equal to tan inverse e y naught by e x naught with x cap. Now for circularly polarized light. For circularly polarized light, E x naught and E y naught should have equal magnitude say E naught and have a phase difference of 
pi by 2 uh, and this magnitude should be real real magnitude say e naught so now the uh, ex is given by e x naught e to the power minus i omega t minus k z x cap and e y is equal to e y naught e to the power minus i omega t plus uh, minus k z plus minus pi by 2 since there should be a phase difference of pi by 2 therefore e r t is given by uh, e x naught x cap uh, plus e y naught and there will be a y cap here uh, or rather write it like this e r t is equal to e x naught to the power minus i omega t minus k z x cap plus e y naught to the power minus i omega t minus k z to the power minus i or minus plus i pi by 2 y cap and therefore this is equal to e x naught to the power minus i omega t minus k z x cap plus e y naught to the power minus i omega t minus k z and this is cos pi by 2 minus plus i sin pi by 2 y cap now since e x naught and e y naught are same and we have considered it as uh, e naught therefore we can write this one as e naught e to the power minus i omega t minus k z x cap plus e naught to the power minus i omega t minus k z and this one is equal to minus plus i y cap and this is equal to e naught e to the power or e naught x cap minus plus i y cap e to the power minus i omega t minus k z so e r t is this one and this is equation number 4 now uh, to get the components along the x axis and the y axis we take of the electric field we take the real part of the equation number 4 to have the magnitude of E along x and 
y direction we consider the real part of equation 4 so let us uh, write this equation 4 as like this uh, e naught cos omega t minus kz minus i sin omega t minus kz x cap minus plus i e naught cos omega t minus kz minus i sin omega t minus kz and this is equal to e naught cos omega t minus kz x cap and minus plus i e naught minus i and there is a y cap here sin omega t minus kz y cap minus e naught I sin omega t minus kz x cap and minus plus e naught cos omega t e naught i cos omega t minus kz and this is y cap so this can be written as e naught cos omega t minus kz x cap and this is uh, uh, minus plus e naught sin omega t minus kz y cap minus e naught i sin omega t minus kz x cap minus plus e naught i cos omega t minus kz y cap and since uh, we have to take the real parts therefore we can write e x equal to e naught cos uh, this is a function of r and t equal to e naught cos omega t minus kz and e y r and t this is equal to minus plus 
e naught sin omega t minus k z and this is equation number five. Uh, we shall require equation number five afterwards. So let us write it here. E x is equation five. Now this gives e x square by e naught square plus e y square by e naught square is equal to one, and this is the equation of a circle. So we can say that the electric field E uh, rotates in a circle with angular frequency omega, and also for uh, x minus i y, the rotation is uh, in a clockwise form so for x minus i y the rotation is clockwise and this is called right circularly polarized light and for x plus i y the rotation is anti clockwise and this is called left circularly polarized light we can draw it like this This is right circularly polarized light and This is left circularly polarized light. Now, elliptically polarized light. In elliptically polarized light, the magnitudes E x naught and E y naught will not 
be equal. Then from equation 5, we can write E x equal to E x naught cos omega t minus k z and E y equal to minus plus E y naught sin omega t minus k z and therefore E x square by E x naught square plus E y square by E y naught square is equal to 1 and this is equation of an ellipse. And this gives an elliptically polarized light. So we shall end here.